Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to give a smoke dispersion effect in Photoshop. First of all, we take pen tool for selection, then select pen tool and select the image. You can zoom your image by pressing Ctrl plus, then select the image. Take a time for selection. I make this clip little bit faster. When you complete your selection, then right click and go to make selection and press OK. Then go to new page and take 120, 80 and 720 pixel page size. Then just drag and drop the image. Press Shift plus Alt and adjust the size of your image. Then use Quick Selection and select Complete the image. Then click on selection and mask. Then select the outer part of hair. Then click on decentralized color, make new layer and then press OK. Delete the older one, then make duplicate your main image, select below the image and take masking layer or mask layer. Then go to filter, liquify, select forward warp tool and then just use this tool on your image or you can directly apply this tool direct to your image when you complete your work then press ok now we are going to masking layer and then take brush tool and make forward color black forward color black is help to erase the image so take forward color black and then when you complete your masking then take another then visible the upper layer of your image and take another mask layer take brush tool this brush tool you can download from DeviantArt and it was totally free I give the link in description so you can download it directly Adjust the place of a smoke brush and directly apply the masking.
this one is so easy but remember this one this selection is totally depend on you and you also give a great effect through this process Now your work is almost done, then visible the lower layer of your image, then brush and make forward color white, because white help you to visible the masking layer. Take a smoke brush, then adjust the size of your brush as per your image or your work place. then directly apply the mask now you can apply the mask now this one is the first dispersion effect and you can also add more smoke layer to make your dispersion effect original and looking so professional Now your work has been almost done. You can add so many extra smokes and also you can add some uh, other brush or you can apply some other brush to make your picture more attractive and original. Now go to filter and make little bit adjustment on your image such like increase the saturation, increase the sharpness and many other things. Take a time for this adjustment and this one is the final adjustment of your work now your work is done and you can also add some extra text or you can also add some extra text effect on your work so I'm going to add extra text then I click on text just write down the text make color black because your background color is white so black is suitable for your work increase the size of your text The placement is also depend on you. I place this text between the image. I think it looks great and it also provides a poster look. Now the work has been done.
if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel okay thank you and goodbye see you again with a new tutorial